everybody, welcome back to another video. So yeah, I thought I'd go ahead and make a video, Top 10 Reasons Why You Should Be Playing Honkai Star Rail. Before this video starts, I want to go ahead and let you guys know that if you have any questions about the game, maybe you're new, uh, just make sure that you uh, don't comment any of it in my comment section because I will never respond to it. Number one, if you're seeing this Honkai Star Rail video, it's not too late. So yeah, I think it's pretty obvious. I mean, the graphics in this game, they're absolutely phenomenal. There's just so much detail put in this game. You know, the characters that you play with, they feel alive, you know, they move, and uh, they breathe which uh, not a lot of characters in, you know, other gacha games really do that. And uh, it's just, you know, a lot of detail put into these characters. And yeah, even when you're exploring the world, the NPCs, they feel alive. They feel like they're actual people. Um, as you can see, these people seem very alive. They seem like they know what's going on. And, uh, you know, I, I think it's just one of those things that Honkai Star Rail does uh, really well. So yeah, let's go ahead and go on to the next one. say this guys I don't really experience difficulty in Honkai Star Rail um, I know a lot of people do and um, you know obviously being one of the best free-to-play players in the game um, it's very hard for me to experience difficulty uh, in this game but I do know that it does exist I have seen people who say that the game is very hard um, as you can see with the simulated universe and uh, all the other simulated universe modes that they're adding uh, a lot of different modes that they're adding they are getting a little harder but you know not for me and as you can see from here i'm just dismantling this new simulated universe mode if you like being challenged in a game um and you kind of suck this is a game for you i think it's very obvious that the characters in Hawkeye Star Rail, uh, a lot of them are very funny, they're very unique. My personal favorite, I think, would have to be Pom Pom. So yeah, as you can see, we have a funny character here. Um, his name is Pom Pom. Now, I know a lot of people hate this little thing. You know, I'm kind of leaning toward the idea of hating it, too. You know, I do like to cheer myself up every now and then, go ahead and talk to Pom Pom. As you can see, uh, Pom Pom is definitely very happy to see me. And now, I know a lot of people say that Pom Pom is very ugly. It reminds them of a uh, mutated rat. Uh, he looks very malnourished, and honestly, uh, I think he supports very extremist uh, ideals. Um, but that's okay, because, you know, one of the great things that you can do is you can get rewards from Pom Pom. And uh, if I couldn't get any rewards, well, I'll be honest with you, I wouldn't really see a reason to keep this thing on the Express anymore, because it's just taking up a lot of space, because he's really big. He's very heavy. You see, let's go ahead and see what uh, reward he has for me today. So yeah, I kind of touched on this in the first one. Um, you know, the world of Honkai Star Rail is very alive. There is a lot of unique things you can do in the overworld, you know. You know, you use it to complete different quests, but usually they have, like, different areas that they open up. You know, there's a lot of things you can do that don't really have anything to do with the story. Um, such as signing a petition. Uh, that sounds like fun. I don't think any other game has this. You know, you can sign a petition. Um, I'm not too sure what they want. Let's go ahead and take a look. I think this lady's a big fan of the museum. Um, obviously, I do work there, so I am very uh, pleased with it. I'm glad that she uh, enjoys it. I think this is the no breaks petition. You won't be able to take breaks during your work hours, which uh, sounds great. I'm glad that the city's coming together and uh, we're all agreeing with this. It's great for my business, and uh, it just you know it just promotes a very positive and happy atmosphere. Uh, you always being in the zone, you know, you don't want to take a break and rest and get out of the zone and start thinking about why you're not in a different job or doing something else and, uh, you know, making less money than you probably could be. You know, we do obviously want you to be a team player, so keeping yourself in the zone, keeping yourself focused on whatever you're doing, even if it's useless, it's always a great thing. There's about, I think, 300 uh, signatures on it. Um, they're not forged, they're actually people that live here, and I will be signing it um, a couple of times. So yeah, anyways, uh, let's go on to the next one.
Next up is the gameplay. So yeah, Honkai Star Rail has one of the best comprehensive, well thought out gameplay uh, out there. I don't really know any other game that does it like Honkai Star Rail. Yeah, I mean the gameplay is so good. Now I will say this, if you're summoning for characters that make the gameplay kind of boring, I mean, I'll be honest, if you didn't summon for Silver Wolf, you're probably very boring and uh, you probably like eating stale bread because uh, you think it's uh, fun or whatever, I don't know. You probably eat bricks. I mean, obviously it is up to you what you want, but uh, I will say this, just a little warning. Uh, make sure you stay clear of a few characters, one of them being Don Hung, uh, March 7th, and probably, um, probably Luocha too, I'll be honest with you. I don't really like how he looks. Uh, I think he's trying to copy Natasha a little too much. Honestly, I'll say that for any other healer in the game, if you're using healers, the game is probably very stale. I actually recommend summoning for Silver Wolf. It lets you kind of be creative and, you know, not build units that you have to because, you know, oh, I don't have the, like, the weakness or whatever. I don't know how to play the game, I'll be honest, I'm just guessing. And this leads into my next one. Now listen guys, I know that the strategy in this game, like I said, if you're not running the right units, Don Hung, March 7th, not Silver Wolf. You know, the gameplay is probably very slow, you probably have Fu Xuan taking everything for you, and uh, you know, it is what it is. I mean, listen, I'm just gonna say this right now, uh, I have a well and he's absolutely insane. Um, you know, we did just get a Doctor Ratio, uh, whatever his name is. Um, yeah, he's pretty good too, so if you want to use him, I mean, he's probably one of the worst units in the game, but if you want to use him, you definitely can do it. It is a free-to-play unit after all. I think the strategy in this game is amazing. Um, you know, it is very simple for me to do because I have read The Art of War uh, a couple of times, so I kind of know what I'm doing for the most part. Um, if you haven't read that book, uh, you might want to read it. Um, I'll be honest with you, I, I just said it that I read it, I'll be honest with you, I didn't really read it, I kind of just like looked at it and just absorbed uh, the words, I didn't really read anything, um, that, but that's just how I do things and that's why, you know, the strategy in this game is very simple, um, but it's very fun at the same time, so make sure you guys are, uh, you know, summoning for the right units. Um, I think any unit that I don't have, I think you probably shouldn't have either, just because, you know, I mean, follow the leader, you know what I'm saying? But, yeah, anyway, so yeah, the strategy is pretty easy. Um, actually, I don't even know that why this is on the list, I don't, I don't really like this, I might take it off. So yeah, that's the top 10 reasons why you should be playing Honkai Star Rail. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed it, I think, uh, I think I went over just about everything, and, uh, you know, I'm pretty sure that everybody will be uh, commenting and liking this video. And if you don't, if you're not going to do that, then you might as well do it anyways because you're here. And, um, you know, I want you guys to go ahead and comment uh, one of the reasons you're playing the game. You know, what's one of the reasons you're playing the game? Make sure you comment it down below and I'll make sure that uh, don't, I'll have my assistant, uh, I'll have my assistant uh, read through it and then say it back to me. Now, I will say this, if you put anything in there that I don't like or agree with or uh, doesn't really fit my line of thinking, uh, it will be deleted uh, permanently and uh, you will be tracked down. Don't let that discourage you though. Go ahead and comment what you think and uh, we'll go ahead and uh, sort you out. But yeah, anyways, uh, thanks for watching. Okay, bye.